Hi, this specific video is basically lessons for CAT 22 aspiration, aspirants from CAT 21. So what can CAT 22 aspirants learn from the CAT 21 exam that was taken? My name is Patrick, I scored a 100 percentile six times in the exam. But this is my perspective and my views regarding the whole exam that was conducted. So there were similarities, I mean a lot of similarities. So CAT continued with a pattern which is always had. So basically the overall pattern similar in terms of verbal dialogue on type of questions similar. So there are no major surprises as such. If you compare, it was more or less a continuation of what CAT normally does. It was, a, if you look at every year, verbal and quant has a higher number of questions as compared to DIR, a small it higher. So this year also the number of questions in verbal and quant sections were higher than as compared to DIR section. So it's more or less continuation of the overall pattern, no major surprises. But there were differences. For example, there was a difference in questions in quant and verbal. Normally, if you look at the recent past papers, the number of questions in quant and verbal were more or less similar. Whereas now, this year, the verbal number of questions were slightly more than the quant questions. Number of questions reduced in each of the section. Compared to CAT 20, they reduced the number of questions basically to make it as 32 questions per hour. So that's what it was before that. So they found that in CAT 20, the paper is quite lengthy. So they reduced the number of questions and made it 33 questions per hour. Okay, that was how the approximate number of questions were. Coming to individual sections. Now, if you look at verbal, it was more or less same thing. Focus on reading. I mean, so if you a person who have who has read really well or good at reading and doing nothing else, so cracking that 19 percentile would not be difficult. You need to be well read. There was no questions on grammar, no questions on vocabulary. Okay, so which basically means that. If you're looking at focusing only on CAT, grammar and vocabulary is not so important. Normally, when you keep on reading, okay, automatically your grammar improves to some extent. So in that case, you know, you can always focus on reading as well. So create a good reading habit. That would be a good solution. Start by reading something that you enjoy, but it's very important to create a good reading habit. Normally helps. Coming to DIR. Focus more on logic as compared to DI. Again, so in the examination, uh, it was more logic questions compared to data interpretation. There was a time where DI and logic were similar in number of questions. But now, of late, in a recent past, logic has become more dominant as compared to DI. Even the DI sets have logic in it, which is what it is. Now, understanding logic becomes important to solve normal DI sets. Look at recent past papers, that has been the case. So pure DI sets, not too many, more logic than DI. Though I would say CAT 21 has slightly more weightage for DI as compared to recent past papers, but still, logic still was a major part. Now, normally if you analyze the sets that have come in the exam, they were combination of two or three individual logic concepts. So that means uh, if I know individual logic concepts well, these are basically combination of those and therefore it became a little confusing as such. So there's nothing new in terms of the logic questions. But it's only that whatever individual question that you already know, it was a combination of that and therefore it became a little confusing as far as the exam is concerned. Because the time was less, 40 minutes is not too much and the number of sets were low. So selection of questions became very important in DIR. One wrong selection could hamper your whole paper. Also accuracy became important because only few questions. So even if you have two questions gone right, you solve 10 questions, you solve four questions wrong and your whole marks can go down. So accuracy become really very important for DIR. Normally when you have more number of questions, so you solve more questions and get a few wrong, doesn't make the difference. But if there are less number of questions, solve less questions and you go wrong, your marks will drop drastically. Okay, that is how DIR is. So how do you prepare for DIR? So first is try to master the basic logic concept. You should be good at it. Okay, because only if you know the individual concepts will you be able to combine them and do better with the overall concept as such. Try to improve your logical deductions. I mean, how to think to the sum logically. This comes by solving a lot of puzzles. So maybe Sudoku, Kakuro, different kind of puzzles. If you can keep on solving different puzzles, it will automatically help you to think through a question logically. Another important ability is uh, trying to solve graphs without too much of calculations. If you can interpret the graph without too much of calculation, it could be faster. Because trying to solve graphs with calculations, calculation would consume a lot of time. Approximation is one key area to solve it this way. Or understanding a different graph type also could help you. So try that out. It definitely helps. 
one more thing that was important was there were few sets which are really difficult but if you represent the data properly it could be easily interpreted and solved so representing data systematically became really important as far as the exam is concerned right. coming to a con section now question did not require knowledge of difficult formulas a lot of people had their formula sheets etc but if you look at the question that came in the exam they did not require any formulas which was quite exotic simple fundamentals if you're clear with it formula sheet was of no use as a matter of a formula sheet could backfire because if you rely too much on formula you tend to look at for formulas that could make you slow logical methods definitely helps will help you to solve questions faster so focus on logical methods they were easy and difficult questions so selection of questions became very important so you should be able to select okay simple questions and solve and skip the difficult question that normally takes time less number of questions so that means again because the questions were lesser than normal so accuracy played important so if you go few questions wrong your marks could drop drastically so that means focus on accuracy while solving the questions right how to prepare get your fundamentals clear instead of relying too much on formulas try to get your fundamentals clear and then go about it also one more important thing is ensure that it is comfortable with simple calculations so if you avoid calculators and try to do simple calculation in your mind, it will be much faster while solving the con section. People ignore, but yes, calculation can save you a lot of time in the exam. Also, extension of this is trying to solve easy sum without pen. I mean, how do you solve it? You can use logical methods by using options or something, or you can do that simple calculation in your mind. But try to do without pen, and that you will realize will over a period of time help you to be fast. Look for alternate methods for solving questions. Use options, substitute values. Try to see alternate methods. Over a period of time, these alternate methods could help you to be fast. Okay, develop your own logical methods that will help you over a period of time. So use options could help. I mean, use of options. So that normally helps you get the answer quickly. Trying to solve the whole questions normally takes a longer time. But if you could use the options, that could definitely help you get things faster. And avoid reliance on formulas, not studying in school. First of all, it clutters your mind. Your mind is full of formulas. And then when you tend to use the formulas, you tend to become slower because it's not much useful in the exam. So try to solve logically as far as possible. Right? So try doing this, it'll help. Yeah, all the best for CAT 22.